Hello everyone, good morning from Tokyo, Japan. Today we're just gonna walk around the city and give a lot of our first impressions of the country and being here. And also we get to explore with some of our great YouTube friends, Brandy and Alan from If We Go To. It should be an awesome time. We're on our way to go meet them now and we're kind of late, so let's go. <laughs> Ginza? Ginza? Ginza, that way. Okay. Arigato. We're figuring it out. Hey, oh, can I mind? People. Oh, a lot of people are getting off. Two seats across from each other. Right? Those are my three impressions of the subway <laughs> so far. Quiet, well-dressed, full. <laughs> right, which exit? Hatsumbashi. This one? Okay. Oh, wait. So cheap. They're, they're all okay. The thing is we don't have data and the streets are so big outside that we have to know the exact gate we're gonna get out of to meet up with Brandy and Alan. This is crazy. Are we supposed to do three? Yeah. You see him? Hey! What's up? Alan, it's good to meet you. How are you? Good. All right, so the first stop is this tempura restaurant where we're gonna get a bunch of fried food together. Also, this is Brandy and Alan, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Hi again. How do you got this? a basket for your backpack. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let's eat. Okay, so 10 down 10 yet. You get a bowl full of several different types of fried vegetables or fish or whatever, but we got vegetables because, you know, Cheap. And why um, it's vegetarian. Thank you guys. <laughs> well, that's why he got it. I'm, I'm cheap. <laughs> Anyways, you get a mushroom, a sweet potato, a pumpkin, an eggplant, a lotus root, a green bean, miso soup, and in my case, I got extra pumpkin. I am okay. so excited. Oh, are we trying it? Yeah. How Thank you, Alan. Do you dip it in that? the soup? I have or no do you idea just what like this is. eat it and you then just soup? Eat it. Okay, just yeah. eat it. Wow. That is really good. I don't even know really what good. vegetable is that. It's a pumpkin. Anything fried, in my opinion, is good. So this is good. <laughs> it's like sweet and crunchy and then salty. It's like they try to just shove every flavor possible into the meal. <laughs> Alan's in heaven right now. Oh yeah, they're so savory. The mushroom breaks down and gets all soft and moist inside. So it's sort of like fried soup. It's delicious. We love this place. We eat here way too much. <laughs> We've been What's here like place? three times this week. Arigato. How do you say it? Arigato. Kazaima. Which neighborhood are we in, by the way? Asukasa. Asukasa. Like people in kimonos everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, do they just wear them? Just it's out like formal about? wear, so they go like they'll wear it for birthdays, weddings, just because they feel wow. like it. They just dress up. Oh, <laughs> arigato, konnichiwa. It's unreal. It's kind of like a dream right now. Yeah. I think we're still in the culture shock, <laughs> for sure. We are currently at Sensoji, which is apparently the oldest temple in all of Tokyo, and it looks sweet. What do you think of this temple? Is this anything like what you expected? This is honestly exactly what I expected from Japan. The red, the like architecture with like the different I don't well, even levels, know what you call yeah. Them, like the different levels yeah. all going up. The Japanese writing is so cool. And everyone's in kimonos. It's pretty sweet. 
This is the behind the scenes. It's behind the scenes. You gotta get that perfect thumbnail. This is what Rika and I are always doing. Brandy, Alan's over there. <laughs> Three, two, one, konnichiwa. Three, two, one. Konnichiwa. <laughs> so we realized that we were just at the gate and this is the temple. The gate in and of itself was like yeah, super impressive. The architecture here is like nothing of anything I've ever seen before, even in Asia so far. It's so cool. The temple at night is just as cool as the temple in the daylight. You can see the light reflecting off of the gold and red. Super cool! So this street right here that's right next to the temple is called Nakamise Dori. Apparently it's pretty famous just for having a lot of tchotchkes and a lot of... Tourist stuff. Tourist stuff, which we're digging it because right now we're tourists. <laughs> Gotta love Japan simply for all of the tchotchkes that they have everywhere on the street. They're all... I feel like the cuteness factor. They're so cute. Yeah, they're so cute. Hello Kitty. They have Hello kawaii. Kitty. Kawaii. That's kawaii. cute in Japanese? Yeah, kawaii. Ah, kawaii. <laughs> yeah? Does this have me on it? Wow. Swoonin'. <laughs> so it's like a convenience store. But like crazy. Uh, more like Walmart. Walmart. It literally looks like this store threw up, guys. I'm just a little overwhelmed. There's no way that you'd be able to find anything in here unless you knew exactly where it was. <laughs> I'm just gonna run my head into an advertisement. I think that might run be Run my the point. head again into an advertisement. That might be the point. I think. Is that you run right into it. If you if you're running into it, you know you're gonna see it. So let's run it into another a little penguin play. guy. It's just like a yeah, it's a fun visit for sure. So we're in the heart of Akihabara right now and I feel like I'm seeing the most tourists that I have so far in Japan here. It seems like it's like quite the hot spot for people to come and check out tchotchke shops or like play in the arcades, play video games, anything. This place is cool. <laughs> I like, I feel like this street is so different from any other street in any other city that I've ever been before. It's wow. just so fun. <laughs> it really is. And there's so many people. Everybody, it's a Wednesday. A Wednesday. What are they? Stickers? This is bad because I feel like I want one. I know it makes Everywhere you want one. They have all these little ads. People hand them out. They're for maid cafes, love. Oh. <laughs> Look at them all lining the streets. Yeah, because they're all like trying to get. Very expensive. It's like $40 an hour. Literally a stimulation <laughs> overload. I have just never been to anything like this. <laughs> Blowing my mind. It's a little overwhelming. This is cool. I'm very excited. So we are in the neighborhood in Tokyo called Akihabara, which is like a lot of anime shops and just various fun, nerdy things. And I'm gonna try to get that toy right now. That's a blab. That's it, you are right. Wait, no, oh, you no, only no, no, move it. it. Now move it up and try and stop it. Oh, you only get to do it. Uh, that makes it really hard. Oh. 
the kid to go that way. Oh. I love how in like Japan they not only have like animals, but they have animals dressed up as other animals. <laughs> I feel like it's so close to falling. That's probably what they like. Ramen time. Ramen time. <laughs> Confirm order. Oh, I got two. No, that's just the, oh, not here. Take one off. That's good, right? I think so, yeah. Return to the Or place order? Yeah. What is it? Uh, miso ramen. Ooh, thick noodles. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, yum. It's good. It's a little salty. I can definitely taste like, what What are these called? Bean sprouts? Bread. Oh. I can definitely taste the bean sprout taste as well. And I think the corn really adds to it. It'll add a sweet taste to it. That was our day. Super fun. Thanks for being back. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>